I've been bitten, but not turned. I need you to cooperate in every possible way or your time here will be unpleasant. It's completely up to you. I talk, you listen. I question, you answer. This is non-negotiable. Do you understand? Now, I'm sure you're surprised to learn that I can communicate with you. I believe that qualifies as a question. So, you got a name? I see here that you had no identification when you were brought in. I'm gonna call you Joe. Joe Cocker. What? Yet again with a question. Let's review, shall we? I ask, you answer. Where are you from? Minnesota. Minnesota, there we go. That wasn't that hard. And when were you infected? It was the end of October. What? It was the end of October? We were putting up Halloween decorations. You're sure? You're sure about that? <sighs> yeah. Get me the Minnesota file. Bring up all the data we have on Minnesota and tell Morgan to keep pushing him on that. On it. What are his versions? Okay, and who bit you? Geographically possible. Look, November, November, December, it's not even close. This is one of the earliest we've spoken to. Come on, Morgan, give me what I need. Tell me about the attack today. We couldn't believe our luck when you saw just showed up. The feeling I felt my... You mean the burn? What? You mean the burn, the burn to commit violence, to be violent, to tear someone's head off, to rip someone's teeth out. You're talking about the burn? Yeah, I know about the burn, Joe. We're not that different, me and you. Like lust. I understand you, buddy. And I want to help you. Joe. So how many of you were traveling today? 200, 250. 250? That's a lot. We ripped your soldiers apart. And if it weren't for these chains, oh, Joe. Hey, hey, hey. Have you ever heard of Daniel Burnham? So Daniel Burnham was an architect. This brilliant architect, okay? He designed all these famous buildings across the United States, including, actually, the first skyscraper in Chicago and that amazing building in New York City, uh, the Flatiron. Anyway, his real passion was wine. Danny Burnham shipped his around the world twice on these slow freighters, so sometimes the wine would take years and years and years to come back to him. Anyway, one day, me and my wife we're in this really beautiful building that Burnham designed in like 1900 and something. And we come across five old, beautiful, dusty cases of Daniel Burnham's wine. The point is, whenever Daniel Burnham opened a bottle of his wine amongst his buddies, he would read them the long list of all the countries that each specific bottle had traveled. So whenever they drank it, they knew it wasn't just a sip of beautiful wine. This was a trip around the motherfucking world. This wine is my only connection to the past, Joe. To the world as it was. Remember that. You know, Joe, I've forgotten what fresh air feels like. And sunlight. I hate this place. I hate seeing you people in pain. I hate not being able to help you, but I want to understand you, Joe. I do. Looks like we're making Before. real progress in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it easy. Take it easy. You want me? Come on. Man. Take it easy. I want to help you. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You want to drop? We're trying to make progress in there. What is it with this dude? Are you alright? No, I'm, yeah, I'm fine. What's he keep saying in there? For me to go fuck myself. <laughs> Tell him we'd all do that if we could. Why are you coddling that son of a bitch? Please, Colonel. When was the last Halloween? Last October. Well, we celebrated. Oh, um, a year and a half ago. My Tommy was Spider-Man. 
I want some answers. Back off, Colonel. What is the problem? Colonel, there is no problem. I just need the subject to calm down. That's all. Oh, shit. Get him back inside and show that monster who's in charge, or I will. That's enough, Colonel. This guy, man. Damn right it is. What's he doing? Colonel? Hey! Oh, hey! What? Now, it looks pretty damn calm to me. Fuck his mouth! You out of your goddamn mind!